Good afternoon. I'm back. Um, this video, the sole purpose of this video is to show you the two different theme essay options you have. One will be finding one theme in three pieces of literature, and the other will be finding three themes in three pieces of literature. You've already done the three themes in three pieces of literature. If you've written your theme analyses, each time you write about a different short story or poem, there is a different different theme. So you've already done that. You can just work those body paragraphs into your essay. Um, however, believe it or not, it's a little more difficult than the other one, which is finding one theme in three pieces of literature. So I'm going to get myself off the screen again. Um, we are in um, weeks nine and ten, the theme essay, and I'm going to scroll on down here past the 14 day gig, what and when, make sure you read that. When an essay looks like visually, the theme essay explained again, and now we have the options, option one and option two. Let's take a look at option one, the one theme essay, and what we're going to do right now is double click and get the mini outline. So here's the mini outline for the one theme and three pieces of literature. You're going to put your title in your subtitle, and this is not a fill in the blank form. This is an actual template. You look at this and then you are going to create your own mini outline following this exact format. So you have an introduct, introduct, intro paragraph, um, whatever hook you want to use. For right now, if you're thinking, I don't even know what a hook is, then don't worry about it. Um, but you do have your one theme, you do have the definition, you do have the citation, and then a thesis statement. And this is the thesis statement that is in the student example. This mini outline goes directly to the student example of, of um, the one theme essay. And her thesis statement is, desire can be seen in Gregory's shame, writes the man who is almost a man, and Jimenez is the circuit. I know you've not read uh, writes the man who is almost a man, uh, but it's a great opportunity for you to take a look at pinpoint sentences and see, gee, did she tell me enough about um, what's going on in the story right before this concrete textual evidence takes place? I don't know the story and I'm not really sure I understand what's going on. So that's a great um, way for you to take a look and see how important pinpoint sentences are. Okay, body paragraph one, topic sentence one, in Gregory's shame, the desire for acceptance is revealed through discarding. Concrete evidence number one, proper citation number one. I don't want analysis right now. I just want to be able to see what your body paragraphs look like before we even get to analysis. Body paragraph two, in writes the man who is almost a man, desire for power is seen through persuasion, concrete evidence, and citation. No analysis. Body paragraph three. In Jimenez is the circuit, the desire to learn is seen through Panchito's bravery. Concrete evidence, proper citation. That's all I need from you. Um, and this is due Monday by 11.59 p.m. However, if you'd like to submit it earlier, I'm more than willing to take a look at it. Now that we looked at the mini outline, what I'd like to do is skip the fill in the blank form for a minute and take a look at the essay that this mini outline uh, was basically the root of. Oops. Okay, so here's the essay that was spawned from the outline that I just showed you, the little mini outline. Um, there's her title, Wanting, an examination of the literary theme, Desire, in Gregory's Shame, writes the man who was almost a man, and Jimenez is a circuit. It's almost exactly what her thesis statement is going to be. So she has her intro paragraph, um, and this intro paragraph doesn't really talk about um, all of the, um, the settings and many plots and all that stuff because there's three different stories and it would be the longest paragraph ever. We're going to save some of that information for the body paragraphs. But just take a look at this. It's short and it's sweet. And so she, what we've done is highlighted her thesis statement. Desire can be seen in Gregory's shame, writes the man who is almost a man, and Jimenez is a circuit. We have also highlighted the topic sentence. In Gregory's shame, the desire for acceptance is revealed through discarding. That's exactly what was in her mini outline. Body paragraph two. In 
In rights, the man who is almost a man, desire for power is seen through persuasion. We have our pinpoint sentences. Um, she has her concrete evidence, which is right here. So all of this is pinpoint sentences. That's how important it is. She has her one passage here, and then she analyzes it. And now we move on to body paragraph number three. In Jimenez is the circuit. The desire to learn is see, seen through Panchito's bravery. All of this is concrete evidence, excuse me, pinpoint sentences. There's one passage. It's right there. You only get one passage. Um, and then this is the analysis of this passage. Here's the conclusion. Again, I will be teaching conclusions next week. I don't really don't care about them that much. And here's her works cited page. Um, one theme, that's the def where she got the definition, and the three short stories in alphabetical order based on the first letter of the first word of each entry. This is the easiest one. Um, and so now I'm going to stop blathering. Okay, so we're back um, in our classroom, and now I just like to call up the fill in the blanks form for you. Um, it's a little, well, it's not different. It's an entire packet. Let me click on the enable editing. So, okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to fill this out, fill it out, fill it out. Um, oops, here's the right one. So um, don't worry about what step it is. We'll just delete that. Um, so this is your fill in the blank form. If you fill in the blanks, you will have a fabulous pair, um, essay. Just fill in the blanks, like literally fill them in with a pen or pencil. So you're actually going to fill this in. So um, your intro paragraph, just fill in the blanks, your theme identification, the definition of it, cite it, the thesis statement. In this story, this story, in this story, the dominant theme is blah. And then you move on to body paragraph one, topic sentence one, pinpoint sentences, intro phrase to concrete evidence, which is basically um, Panchito says, comma, um, the concrete evidence, the proper citation, and your analysis. This is all handwritten before you even move on to your next step. And make sure that you include your work cited here. Done.